Guess who's behind the ads promoting the most insane MAGA Republicans? The Democrats? What? That can't be right. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. We're a few months out from the midterms, and the polls aren't looking great for the Dems. Definitely not good at all. People are pissed about inflation and are planning to punish the party in power. Precisely. But there's one thing working in Democrats' favor. A lot of the Republican candidates out there are batshit crazy. And that isn't just some overheated rhetoric. These guys are clown posse level insane in the membrane. And also evil. Here's just a little taste. And I will not allow the people who ordered this corrupt election to get away with it. Grab my gun. I said, I will kill him. And I can still remember the voice of hurts of people in district respecting you all the time. My body, my choice is ridiculous nonsense. And would you support abortion exceptions for rape, incest, or the life of the mother? I don't give away for exceptions either. That was disturbing. Election thieves, conspiracists, banning abortion at the moment of conception for teenagers who were raped. A dude hallucinating voices in his head telling him to murder his critics. And these aren't a few randoms. They're the leading candidates in key races in important states like Georgia, Michigan, Arizona, and Pennsylvania. Not ideal. So Democratic strategists in Washington got a bright idea. They started to spend millions in Republican primaries to help the crazy candidates beat the kind of boring normies because they're betting that will give them a better chance of winning in the general election. What could possibly go wrong? To do so, they're running ads like these that pretend to be attacks but actually are pumping up the extremists. This is Republican State Senator Doug Mastriano. He wants to outlaw abortion. He wants to end vote by mail. If Mastriano wins, it's a win for what Donald Trump stands for. These are all my favorite things. So the obvious question, is this smart politics or dangerous dirty tricks? I'm afraid to know. The answer isn't as obvious as it might seem. Buckle up, because there are levels to this strategy. From this perspective, politics is a competition, and anything that helps your side win that's within the rules is at some level fair game. And the ads they're running aren't lies. They're literally just explaining how extreme the MAGA weirdos are, and that's making many Republicans want to vote for them. MAGA voters are demanding the craziest SOB in the race. Whose fault is that really? He is terrible. And now let's travel up and explore the other perspective. The karma of running these ads is bad. Here's one example. Democrats are using Using this strategy to try to take out Peter Meyer, one of the 10 brave House Republicans who voted to impeach Donald Trump. Ooh, I like this. This is creating another incentive for Republicans to toe the Trump line and not do the right thing. Aren't some things more important than winning one campaign? Apparently not. Plus, in some cases, the people they're helping are really fucking dangerous. Doug Mastriano, the Republican nominee for governor in Pennsylvania, was literally Trump's point man for the coup plot in 2020. If he becomes governor, he'll have an influential perch to try to help Trump steal the 2024 election. This isn't just like one random city councilman. So Democrats are really playing with live bullets here. Uh, th this seems really dangerous. So where do I personally land? When the stakes are low, say in a blue state race like Illinois or Maryland, where the Dem is probably going to win anyway, trying to pick your opponent by running ads that are truthful about where they stand seems like some acceptable political trickery. I'll allow it. But when the stakes are high, when the opponent you're promoting wants to literally end our democracy and might be in a position to help do so, that's a different animal altogether. Sometimes people in public service have to put country over party. It's is that a thing? It's something Democrats and us never Trumpers have been asking Republicans to do for quite a while now. And just because they have failed in many cases to rise to that challenge doesn't make it okay for Democrats to sink to their level and start putting their own petty politics over the country too. Get your head in the game. We'll see you next week for more Not My Party. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button.